Hello students, today we are going to study about the input and output devices. Let us first talk about the computer system. A computer is an electronic machine that works on electricity. It can be compared to a magic box that can do a variety of jobs. Computers are not confined to offices only. They can be seen everywhere around us like shops, schools, hospitals, banks, airports, railway stations, etc. They work very fast and give 100% accurate results. So we can define computer as an electronic device that accepts data and instructions given by the user, processes them accordingly and gives meaningful results. A computer system performs three basic functions input, processing, and output. The computer system works with the help of hardware and software. The physical parts of a computer that we can touch and see are called computer hardware. Software is a set of instructions that helps the hardware to work in a desired manner. Hardware and software are interdependent. Without software, a computer cannot work. Similarly, if hardware is not there, software is of no use. This can be understood with the help of given example. To listen to music, we require a music system. The music system, CDs and DVDs are hardware because we can touch them. Can you touch the songs? No, because that is software. We need both to enjoy the music. I hope children you are clear about hardware and software now. So, let us discuss which is more important, hardware or software. The main components which carry out the basic operations of a computer are the keyboard, mouse, CPU, and monitor. Besides these components, some additional parts can also be attached to a computer. These additional parts are known as peripherals of a computer. For example, printer, scanner, modem, etc. Time for a fact file. Vinod Dham is properly known as the father of Pentium for his contribution in the development of the Pentium processor from Intel. Okay, let us now talk about the input devices. The devices through which we enter data and instructions are called input devices. The most commonly used input devices is the keyboard. Students, another fact file. Sir Christopher Latham Scholasis, regarded as the inventor of QWERTY keyboard layout. The other input devices are mouse, trackball and light pen, which do not require typing to input data. They are called pointing devices. We can select any item on the screen by pointing and clicking on it. Let us now talk on a few common input devices. A keyboard is used to enter data and instructions into the computer by typing. A standard keyboard has 104 keys which can be divided into four groups. Typing keys, alphabet keys and numeric keys, function keys F1 to F12, navigation keys, arrow keys, home, end, page up, page down, etc and control keys, control, alt, windows, logo key, and escape. A mouse is a handheld pointing device with two or three buttons on its top. It is used to control the movement of a pointer. It is also used to point and select the objects and open files or folders. A mouse is used to draw pictures. A microphone is an input device which is used to record voice, music and sound into a computer system. 
Sound cards enable the computer to record sound input from a microphone connected to the computer. Apart from recording sound in computer, a microphone is used in many applications such as telephones, tape recorders, karaoke system, hearing aids, etc. Okay, now let us talk about a few more input devices. Touchpad is used instead of a mouse on the laptop computers. It is a touch sensitive pad. You can control the movement of the pointer on the screen by moving the finger on the touchpad. A touch screen is a computer screen which is sensitive to the touch. We can select the objects directly by touching with fingers without using any pointing device. For example, ATM machines, cell phones, etc. A light pen is a pen like pointing device. It is used to select objects on the display screen. It is quite similar to a mouse except that it allows you to point to the objects displayed on the screen or draw directly on it. Light pen is only used with CRT monitors. It is mainly used by engineers, fashion designers or architects. A digital camera is used to take photographs and record videos. Photos or videos taken with a digital camera are stored in a memory chip inside the camera. Then the digital camera is plugged into the computer and the images or videos are transferred to the computer for storing, editing, printing, etc. A web camera is a device connected to the computer for capturing still images and live videos. It is primarily used to share pictures and have live chat with our friends and relatives using internet. Scanner is a device that reads text or pictures printed on a paper and translates the information into a form that a computer understands. The most commonly used scanner is the flat bed scanner which has a flat tray with a glass pane and a covering lid, similar to a photostat machine. Now, there are three types of scanner, flat bed scanner, sheet fed scanner and handheld scanner. Time for a fact file. Dr. Angel Bart is the inventor of the computer mouse. Do you know what a trackball is? It is similar to a mouse and can be used in its place. It has a ball on its top. To move the pointer on the screen, roll the ball with your finger. Now, let's know more. You know, a barcode scanner is used to scan the printed barcodes present on the various products. It can be seen in shops, malls, etc. Okay, now children, let us talk about output devices. Output devices are used to display the data that we input into a computer and the results which we get after processing. Monitor is the most common output device. It looks like a television. The output that we get on a monitor is called the soft copy. There are two types of monitors. CRT monitors and LCD monitors. Both CRT and LCD monitors produce sharp images, but LCD monitors have the advantage of being much thinner, lighter and consuming less electricity. CRT monitors, however, are generally less expensive, but consume more electricity. Okay, let us have a quick quiz. Name the types of monitor. Speakers are the output devices used to listen to music and sound effects from the computer. They may be built into the system unit or connected with cables to CPU. It is an important part of a computer system. It prints the output onto paper. The printed copy is called the hard copy. The most commonly used printers are 
dot matrix, inkjet, and laser printers. The dot matrix printer works like a typewriter and creates impression by striking on the paper. It is very noisy and least expensive. Dot matrix printers are not so common nowadays. The inkjet printer sprays droplets of ink on paper to form text and graphics. It is ideal for routine business work and personal documents. It can print in black as well as produce colored output. It produces high quality prints when used with special paper. The laser printer uses laser beams and dry ink to print. It is mostly used in publishing houses. It is very fast and gives high quality output. Time for another fact file. The laser printer was invented at Xerox in 1969 by Gary Starkweather. Let us now do an activity using printer. Open MS Paint and draw a scenery. Fill colors in it and save the file. Click on Paint button and select Save option and specify the file name. Click on Paint button and select Print option. Specify the number of copies either by typing the number or by clicking the up or down arrow. By default, L option is selected under Print range. You can select any desired option. Click on Print button. Okay, so now we shall talk about the processing device. In our body, brain has very important role to play. The activities that we perform are the results of the signals which we receive from our brain. Likewise, CPU is the brain of a computer, where it processes and stores the information, performs calculations and sends the result to the output devices. It performs all the jobs which we want it to do. It is also known as the system unit. The CPU has mainly three parts. Number one, MU, memory unit. This unit stores information temporarily or permanently according to our need. Number two, ALU, arithmetic and logical unit. This unit performs all arithmetic calculations and logical operations. Number 3. CU. Control Unit. The control unit works like a traffic policeman and manages all the operations of a computer. Let us quickly glance through the key points discussed in this chapter. A computer is an electronic device which accepts data and instructions given by the user and gives the desired output. The physical parts of a computer which can be touched and seen are called hardware. Software is a set of instructions that enables the hardware to work in a desired manner. Devices through which we enter data and instructions into the computer are called input devices. Devices that display input and result, which we get after processing, are called output devices. A CPU has three parts. Memory Unit, MU, Arithmetic and Logical Unit, ALU and Control Unit, CU.